And quite frankly, the whole Northern Ireland issue is also another problem, but it's quite simply solved as well. I feel like we should, the West Brits that are up in Northern Ireland, we should just simply ship them back, help with their relocation costs. Now, I don't mean like a $20,000 allowance like they would if someone's taking an Amazon job and they're moving from Seattle to Los Angeles. I mean, we'll help relocate them insofar as, you know, we'll, sure, look, we'll get them a ferry ticket and they can go back to the mainland England. Let's give them a meal on their way, give them a hang and cheese sandwich. Do you know what I mean? A packet of potato crisps while stocks last. Obviously, don't give them the cheese and onion because that's the best flavour. Give them a little bit of salt and vinegar. But honestly, I don't know why they're up there bitching and moaning. Ireland, the Republic of Ireland can't really be taking on Northern Ireland because literally they're mostly civil servants and they don't have a huge work ethic from, you know, that's the, that's the reality of them. There's a lot of civil servants. And there's obviously there's a lot of healing to be done in Northern Ireland as well. And... Great Britain doesn't want Northern Ireland either. That's the thing. The Republic of Ireland doesn't really technically want Northern Ireland. We do want a united Ireland, of course, but technically from a fiscal and financial point of view, it's quite difficult to reunite Northern Ireland. Also, the English who invaded Ireland in the first place, who caused the split, what infuriates me is the fact that they're all like, is that Southern Ireland? No, there is no such thing as fucking Southern Ireland, so shut the fuck up. Like, if you're going to invade a country, divide a country, it's called Northern Ireland because it's six counties up in north of Ireland. It doesn't mean the rest of the country is called Southern Ireland or, or Southern Ireland. No, it's called the Republic of Ireland. And to be quite honest with you, the hint should be in the name. It's called the fucking Republic of Ireland. Honestly, what a load of fuckwits. They've taken over the country, they split the country and then they can't even get it right. They call it Southern, is that Southern Ireland or Northern Ireland? There's no such fucking thing as Southern Ireland, so shut the fuck up. Also, as well, if I was going to be President of Ireland, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to be wearing any British designers. It's not a big deal. They have some great designers, but I would actually boycott promoting British clothing designers. I feel like there's a lot of talk about who's going to be president of Ireland. And honestly, if there's any more ridiculous people put forward, I'm actually going to come back and be president of Ireland myself. And don't come at me being like, what do you mean president? I'm the great grannies of Michael Collins. Two words, two words, political pedigree, two words, political pedigree. And to be quite honest, I would I wouldn't even need the seven years. I'd have it all sorted out in about eight. There's three main problems. The first problem is the housing problem. Not really a problem because there's loads of land. So that's stupid. It's different in a situation where you don't have enough land. There's just a load of people blocking the planning permission. There's a lot of brown envelopes going around. I don't do very well with uh, corrupt people. So that wouldn't be very difficult to sort out. Also, the other major problem is the unpapered people coming to Ireland. So we don't have any problem taking in women and children from refugees and from war areas. But you can't continue. Ireland is so naive. We're going to open our arms to everybody. Shut the fuck up. You can't take everybody in the country. We have different moral compasses. This is